protein serves many important functions in the body, so it's vitally important to meet daily needs. But those needs can vary quite a bit from person to person. So how do you calculate how much protein is right for you? I'm Susan Bowerman, registered dietitian, and I'm going to explain two ways you can estimate the amount of protein you need. And at the end of this video, I'll share some practical tips for meeting those needs. Now your daily protein needs depend on many factors like how much you weigh and how much muscle you have, not just whether you're male or female. One guideline from the Institute of Medicine recommends that we eat 10 to 35% of our total daily calories from protein. This guideline helps a little, at least it attempts to tie protein needs to calorie needs, but the percent of calories range is pretty wide. People come in all different sizes and their body composition is highly variable too. That means that protein needs can also vary a lot, so a one size fits all approach may not work. So how can you figure out how much protein is right for you? The first method calculates your lean body mass as part of a body composition analysis. Protein is important in maintaining your lean body mass, which is basically everything in your body that isn't fat. I'm not just talking about your muscles, but also your organs, bones, connective tissue, and fluids. The suggested amount of protein that you should eat every day depends in part on how much of that lean mass you have. If at all possible, it's best to get a body composition measurement done, which will tell you how much fat and how much lean body mass you have. Some home bathroom scales can even do this for you. Once you know how much lean body mass you have, you can easily determine your optimal amount of protein. We recommend consuming between half and one gram of protein per pound of lean body mass, or one to two grams of protein per kilogram of lean mass. The reason for the range is that strength athletes require a bit more protein to support muscle growth and repair. So those who are looking to build muscle would want to consume amounts that are at the higher end of the range. The second method of calculating your protein needs is done by using just your body weight. It's not a perfect method since it doesn't take into account how much lean body mass you have, but it does at least account for differences in body size. To calculate your protein needs by using your weight in pounds, multiply your body weight by 0.7. Or if using kilograms, multiply your body weight by 1.5. The number you get is a reasonable target for the amount of protein in grams that you should eat each day. Here's an example. A person who weighs 140 pounds or 64 kilograms should aim for about 100 grams of protein a day. And someone who weighs 220 pounds, or 110 kilograms, should shoot for at least 150 grams of protein a day. Of course, if you have specific athletic goals in mind, your needs might vary somewhat. Strength athletes, for example, need a bit more protein and are advised to take in about 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight, or 1.5 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. With either of the two methods I've described, the recommended amount of protein is more tailored to your needs than the more general recommendations that you often see, which are based solely on your sex. To help you track your protein intake, here are my top tips. Make sure to read nutrition labels so you can more accurately keep track. For more accuracy, weigh animal proteins like meat, fish, and poultry after they're cooked. And do this a few times so you get familiar with the amount of protein in your usual portions. Try using an app to encourage daily tracking. If you need more protein, try meal replacement or protein shakes, which you can tailor to your personal needs with additional protein powder or other protein add-ins like yogurt, cottage cheese, tofu, or nut butter. And finally, remember that your overall dietary balance matters too. So be sure your daily diet includes plenty of healthy carbs from fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and beans, as well as some good fats from nuts, avocado, and vegetable oils. Thanks for watching. If you found this information helpful, make sure to like and share this video. For more exclusive tips from our experts on nutrition, fitness, and wellness, subscribe to the Herbalife Nutrition channel.